Yeah, man, I told you. <laughs> the streak was real. <laughs> Tekken has a huge roster and an even bigger number of moves reaching into the thousands. So... I decided to learn all of them. To improve as a player and for fun on stream. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. This video is the start of a new series on my channel documenting how I spent a year playing every character in Tekken 7 and giving my personal experience of what it was like to learn each one. If you like the video and want to support me, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment on the video. If you want to see me live, be sure to follow me on Twitch. And with that, I hope you guys enjoy. Here are my thoughts on how it feels to play and learn Heihachi Mishima. First off, I want to quickly run through who Heihachi is. Heihachi is one of the most well-known characters in Tekken. He's gone from being the main villain in the original Tekken to a sort of protagonist in Tekken 7. Well, basically, Heihachi got greedy with power and was going to be a threat to the world. His wife tried to stop him, so he killed her and threw his son off a cliff. Then in Tekken 7, his now grown up son is pissed, hates everyone, especially his dad, and becomes a threat to the world. So Heihachi tries to be the hero to stop him, and right his wrongs, but dies trying. Yeah, sure thing bud. Let's talk about what learning him was like. Personally, I knew I would have no issues playing Heihachi because my first actual main in this game was his son Kazuya. Kazuya has a very similar moveset. But the difference lies in Heihachi's multiple powerful mids and oppressive pressure. So Heihachi to me revolves around this idea of immense pressure. Utilizing his long list of good mids and access to a weaker but effective mix-up game. A full throw game having a 1 break, a 2 break, and a 1 plus 2 break. And to top it all off, a punch parry that leads into huge amounts of damage. This brings us to Heiachi's game plan. I'm gonna break it up into three main points. The neutral, advantage, and disadvantage. Heiachi's neutral is about you using his jab, the electric wind god fist, his mids, and his lows to find an opening. Heiachi can choose to do just his jab, being plus one on block, one back two for a very safe, hard hitting mid, or do his classic Mishima style 1 1 2, hit confirming into the last hit for a wall splat or a knockdown. Heiachi has tons of mids to choose from. I suggest using what you feel is best depending on the situation. Down forward 1 is an amazing mid poking tool. It's very safe, fast, and gives plus on hit. It also has a great extension. Back 4 is a tracking safe mid. Forward forward 2 is a launching mid that is hard to punish for most characters, hits grounded, and leads to a lot of damage. Forward 4 is a plus on block mid that leads to a guaranteed down forward 1 2 if it hits a crouching opponent. The list goes on and on. Moving on to his lows, they aren't the best, but in the online setting, they really get the job done. Down back 2 is a quick low right on the edge of being reactable that gives advantage on hit. Down 4 is a safer alternative, but doesn't give advantage. His crouching down forward 4 and hell sweep are both high risk, high reward moves that lead you straight into advantage. Now that you have your opponent in a rough spot, it's best to think about how bad the situation is for them, and how you can make it even worse. The Electric Wind God Fist will beat most retaliation and will launch for great damage. 
It also will push your opponent towards the wall while furthering pressure. This alone will make your opponent hesitant to swing back at you. Or they may start ducking you. What's really cool about Heihachi is that once you do reach the wall, simply jabbing will also achieve a very similar result and is the key to making opponents afraid to press a button even when Heihachi has a single frame of advantage. This is because his jab can wall splat you leading to a lot of damage. Heihachi is one of the best characters when it comes to pressure, even in the open areas of the stage. But once he corners his opponent at the wall, that pressure can be truly overwhelming. As I said earlier, his jab will give huge amounts of damage thanks to the wall spy property, and the same goes for many of his mid. So now that your opponent is beginning to cower, this is a great time to now apply a 50-50 mix-up, forcing them to defend correctly. When it comes to his 50-50 mix-up, any of his mids are good for the most part. It's all about the right time and place. I typically use either forward 4, forward 3, back 3 or forward forward 2. For the low option, you can go for hell sweep or down back 2. You can also try to substitute a low for a throw since Heihachi has a 3 way mix up with his throws although they are visibly different. For most players this is still a valid mix up and a knowledge check. Landing any of these moves will only get you closer to the wall and further the advantage state. Do this enough times and ideally you'll be able to smother your opponent and take the round. Well that would lead back into either neutral or disadvantage Simon. But it's okay, let's talk about disadvantage and what that means for Heihachi. So now that you've been put into a bad situation, it's time to find a way to push the scale to eventually be back in your favor. No matter the character disadvantage, it's a test of your character knowledge, punishment, evasiveness, and overall mental defensive skill. However, Heiachi has a few defensive tools that most characters in the roster don't have. Overall though, his defense is weaker than most. You will want to mostly get on your feet and defend yourself by blocking correctly or sidestepping correctly. Don't be afraid to interrupt your opponent with quicker moves like jab, down 4-1, and down 4. Or utilize Heiachi's punch parry when the time is right. Once you land a hit, you'll be back in neutral or possibly advantage again. To be honest, there isn't much more to say because Heihachi struggles in these situations, but makes up for it by excelling extremely well when he is in advantage. So, how does it feel to play Heihachi? To me, Heihachi feels like a power trip. The moment you have the slightest bit of advantage, it really feels like you're in complete control. Whether that's from a solid down back 2, HASI! Punishing with 1-1-2, one, one, or hitting an electric near the wall. He really just gets right up in your enemy's face and just starts mashing. And I mean, who doesn't like pressing buttons? In so many ways, Heihachi was just really fun to play. Heihachi is great for new players who are looking to play a Mishima. Like I thought originally, I didn't have any trouble learning him or playing him because my main in the game was Kazuya. Going forward, I know I'm going to have to play a lot of characters that I'm not used to. But overall, I would say that this was a complete success and I had a lot of fun doing it. Oh shit. <laughs> nice. Okay, so 
that's all the time we have for now. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video. If you like what you saw, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. It does a lot to support my channel and allow me to make more content like this. Take care for now, and be impetuous. Yeah.